Hello everybody, this is Kosta Tsakas and this is our 8th tutorial in Photoshop. Now in this tutorial I wanted to teach you about selections and I'm gonna make a couple of videos on selections just because there's not there's a lot of things to them. Uh, now eventually you want to edit just part of an image and you don't want to edit the whole thing. So this can only be done with selections and as the word says a selection is basically a selection of an area where whatever you do on the image it's only going to take a f uh, effect on that part of the image and I'm just going to demonstrate this right now. Now first of all uh, the only tools that are that can make selections are these three the second, the third and the fourth group of tools and they basically can make any sort of selection you may want. Now let's just go ahead and uh, we're only going to talk about the second uh, group of selection, uh, selection tools today so let's just go ahead and select the rectangular mark tool. Now if I select an area over here at Photoshop uh, I'm just going to show you why this selection is so important and if I select the brush tool I know what you don't, that you don't know how the brush tool works but uh, you're gonna see right now why the selection is so important and if I start drawing you see that uh, everything I draw is in that part of the image you don't see drawing outside of that selection so that's why the selection uh, is actually so important because everything I do takes place only inside of that selection so let's just undo that by edit undo and let's go back to our selection tool and I'm gonna deselect it by clicking outside of the selection and another, another way to deselect your selection is by right clicking inside of your selection and clicking on deselect. Now if I made a selection you see I have the first option on now first you have your presets right here as always uh, you see I have the first option on now the second option what that does is you basically let's just click it is it basically instead of every time let's just click the first option again uh, every time I make a selection you see it's a new one now what's gonna happen is if I click the second option uh, whenever I make selection it's gonna be added to the old one so as you see I get to make a weird shape just by adding to the old selection now uh, you can also achieve that effect if you have the first option open by clicking on shift and that shows up this uh, plus at my cursor and as you can see whenever I add it gets added to that selection now if I click on the third option it does the exact opposite it removes from the selection as you can see and that's pretty obvious it removes some parts and I as you can see I have this pretty weird uh, shape over here now you can also achieve that by using the alt key if I had the first option selected and I had the alt key you can see that it would subtract from the selection so those are the shortcuts to uh, doing those sort of stuff now the fourth one is a weird one and let's just make a new selection to show this well Oops. basically if I have a selection what the fourth uh, the fourth option is gonna do is if I make a new selection it's only gonna select the parts that intersect between those two selections and you can see it selected this box because it was the only one where the pixels for both selections were common now next up is the feather of the selection and we're not gonna talk about that uh, just because you don't know uh, the you don't have the appropriate knowledge about layers and such kind of stuff. So uh, one other thing I wanted to show you about selections that I forgot is uh, how to move a selection. If I make a selection and I just click on it and drag it, as you see it moves across the screen. And that's another useful thing you should know. Now the style of the selection, this option basically, we've been using normal style all of this time, but you can use the fix ratio and what that's going to do, I've set it to 1 by 2 so the height is always going to be double the width and as you can see I cannot make a selection of a different ratio and if I put it to 1 by 1 we're always going to get a square now fixed size, what does that do? well you basically set the pixels of your width and your height 
And whenever I click on the image, I don't even have to drag. It's just going to make the selection for me because it knows the dimensions that the selection should have. So I can just click over here, 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 and it makes a selection of that many pixels. Now let's just put this back to normal. And let's just click, right click, and deselect this selection. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, the selection menu and you can see that there's a whole menu dedicated to selection and that is because uh, well selections are really important in Photoshop now let's just make a selection and see what the selection menu can do for us first of all it can deselect and I just deselected it if I didn't want to do that I could pre-select it now the inverse what that is going to do it's going to select everything that has not yet been selected so I had selected this part of the image but this whole thing around it had not been selected so it's gonna select the exact inverse right that's the idea Now, if you click on select all it's just gonna select the whole image leave, leaving nothing out um, and the next thing I want to show you is an example of how you can use guides and selections together and basically let's just make uh, four guides that are that are two centimeters from its side and to do that as you remember you can just have to click and drag from the ruler at the side of the screen right here you just click and drag and let's just go and make up for gods two centimeters from its side uh, okay and we're making our gods so uh, ha 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 come on that's about two centimeters over here and it's about two centimeters from this side over here so yeah let's just leave it to that um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a selection over here and the guides are gonna help us because the selection is gonna snap to the guides it's basically gonna stick to them and that's what I was talking about when I said about snapping uh, to the guides and that's why I wanted to show you this example because it's a good collaboration between guides and selections and now if I go and select inverse you can see that right now I have selected a border around the image and that's quite interesting because that's one way you could make a border around an image not the easiest one but it's just one way so if I go ahead and select my brush as you can see uh, whatever I do only takes effect on that border and maybe I could paint the whole thing black and I would have a black border around my image so uh, that's the idea of selections let's just undo that let's just deselect this part and let's just see what other tools are over here so the elliptical mark, mark tool uh, well that one pretty much has the same options as uh, the previous tool it's just that it draws elliptical um, shapes, yeah. So if I select uh, this part and I can just use this uh, second option to add to that selection, the same thing applies over here. Uh, now, what I can do next is show you this tool, the single row mark tool. And if I click over here, as you see, it just creates one line over the that's horizontal and the last tool just creates a vertical line and it's as simple as that so those were the basic selection tools uh, before we leave I want to show you one last thing now if I go over here at the view menu and clear all of the guides and let's just deselect that by clicking out whoops I'm sorry let's just deselect that by clicking out and deselect so that was it for today I hope you learned a little bit about selections and see you guys next time